Hi, I thought I'd show you a new pocket multimeter that I'm carrying on the EEV blog stories. One, I'm just gonna do a uh, little unboxing review of this thing, um, single take, uh, hence why I'm gonna put it on the uh, second channel. But I like this uh, little pocket meter so much, I am actually um, selling this on my EEV blog store. So, you know, disclaimer. Um, Linked in down below. So let's check it out. It's the new uh, Sanwa PM300 pocket multimeter. And as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much the only one with a, a Cat4 uh, rating. So Cat4 300 volts, Cat3 600 volts. And it is a true uh, pocket multimeter. So let's have a look. It's the premium black series. Whoa. And uh, it, comes, it comes from uh, Sanwa, of course. Uh, famous Japanese multimeter company who've been around uh, forever. And hence why there's uh, Japanese all over this thing. So let's take it out and have a squeeze. It's a 6,000 uh, count pocket multimeter and it is quite small. I mean, take a look at the size of that uh, compared to my hand. So without the case, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It doesn't have the battery, but we'll have a look at that in a second. It does come with one. Uh, but yeah, as I said, uh, Cat4, 300 volts, Cat3, 600 volts, uh, true RMS meter as well. Nice uh, strain relief. We'll uh, take a look inside in a minute, uh, but nice strain relief on the test leads. They are uh, rated and they are gold plated. Very nice. Not the sharpest ones around, but they're more than good enough. So nice little so nice gold-plated leads on this thing, and of course, given that they, they are fixed leads in this uh, thing, then the quality of the leads and the quality of the strain relief uh, determines how long they actually last. Um, now, I would love for this to be Philo Vision because that is one of the best range switches on any multimeter, let alone a pocket multimeter. This, the indents are beautiful. It feels like a real, feels and sounds like a real rain switch i love it um and of course it's uh it doesn't have uh current as is common on these pocket multimeters i personally prefer not to have current on a pocket multimeter it just means you can't goof it up you can't short out anything you can't go wrong so we've got basically true rms ac volts and measures frequency as well uh dc volts and your ohms diode uh capacitance and continuity and it's got uh, min max and relative mode as well a lot of pocket multimeters don't have the relative uh, mode or even min max and just your regular data hold it's not auto hold or anything like that now so very surprisingly um it is made in china it is a japanese company samwa meters are traditionally made in japan so i'm not sure why this one's made in china but as you'll see inside it is excellent quality so they're actually uh they're doing really like you know they're maintaining the quality of the uh whatever factory is producing these now the one of the best things about this is the case it is quite uh thick but it's a tpu rubber case and we'll have a look at this you do actually get a real maxell brand um japanese lithium ion cr2032 battery we'll take a look at the uh manual in a minute but i love the case it's actually uh tpu uh rubber and it's just fantastic little spot in here to hold the clips like that very nice and that just clips in there like that and of course your leads go in there and it folds up into a beautiful compact solution like that that i haven't drop tested off the dam or anything like that but as far as pocket multimeters go that one is the most survivable one i have ever seen so that is just a fantastic case i love the case that really sold it to me so let's take a look inside shall we we have a single uh screw on the back here metal threaded insert no wackers so very nice there we go and we've got our uh, piezo um, uh, transducer on the back there and we will actually let's go in we can go in further but uh yeah bugger it let's go in now let's go in now why not let's take this apart and you'll notice the uh you'll notice the strain relief on here now this is very, very nice how they've got it going in there like that through those uh, little, um, little, 
I don't know what you call those. Anyway, like that and kind of just hold as that, hold it in place and going over there like that. So if you had to replace the leads, I guess you uh, could, but the strain relief is excellent on these. It's one of the best I've seen in a pocket multimeter. So we've got the uh, CR2032 coin cell battery just plugs in there, hold, held in by the back case. And as you can probably see, We've got ourselves a PTC protection down in there, as you'd expect of a cat, oh, a cat four, cat three slash four multimeter, ta-da! And so there's our range switch, nice gold-plated uh, contacts on that. So I won't open that and show you the. It's just like I don't know some uh, plastic indent thing inside. And I was thinking about printing up a custom uh, surround for this EV blog surround because they would not customize it for me, at least not at the moment. Um, I guess, you know, like they don't trust me yet. They almost didn't want to uh, give me like a distributorship on this thing. Um, so anyway, we've got our rubber in there. That's very nice. But have a look at this. Not only is there the PTC, but there's a GDT as well, a gas discharge tube. That's why it's called GAP down there because it's a spark gap. So dual uh, spark gap and PTC protection on a pocket multimeter, beautiful. Um, I love the series string of resistors in here to get the uh, high voltage isolation and just like the spacing of all the traces and everything else is beautiful for a, uh, there we go, look. Nice uh, gaps in there, nice spacing, everything else, fantastic. So I have no doubts that it passes its uh, uh, Cat 3 and Cat 4 uh, ratings. And um, Sanwa are not a company who do, I believe they do their in-house in uh, ratings, or maybe there's some obscure uh, Japanese uh, company or something, but they don't do your traditional UL or ETL um, independent testing on those meters. They do their own testing, but they do declare it to be um, as per the um, 61010 standard or whatever it is. Anyway, um, it's very nice construction inside. The chipset is, I forget what it is. I'll have to put it in later. I could get the macro lens out. Actually, I've got the macro lens here. Let me just whack it in here. And please excuse the crudity of my single take video, but uh, you know, it is the second channel. There's no expectation of quality on the second channel. So there we go, we can get on there. It's a Hikon Tech, I believe. Hang on. There we go. Can we see it? HY, uh, yeah, that's it, the 12P65. I posted this on the EV blog forum. People have uh, seen this before. And the uh, quality on this is excellent. The build quality is uh, superb. So standard Hikon Tech uh, chipset on there. So no wackers. That's fine, and of course the zebra strip and everything else for the uh, uh, LCD here. So I guess I should put this sucker back together, shouldn't I? Um, that just oh, that sits in there somehow like that, and you probably should put it into the case first. So this could be mightily embarrassing. But uh, there you go, the build quality is excellent on this thing. I just love it. So. Very impressed, huge thumbs up on the build quality. You can't expect any better than that on a, this could be, cr <laughs> this could be crude, hang on. Any better than that on a pocket multimeter, really. That's just, oh, hang on. Jeez, I'm not doing too well here, am I? This is embarrassing. There we go, I think we're in. Yep, we're back together, there we go. So let me screw that back on. Ah, uh, 0.8%, I believe. We'll show, have a look at the manual of them in a minute. 0.8% uh, uh, DC volt accuracy. Pretty, you know, not not the absolute best uh, in terms of pocket multimeters, but uh, more than good enough. And uh, for the purpose. And so the things I love about this are the uh, build. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had. Oh no, sorry. Don't you hate it when you get the wrong hole? Look at that. There you go. All right. And then we'll throw the battery in there. And Bob will be our uncle. All right. Genuine, not a one hung low brand. Be careful, you buy. 
the cheap ass uh, coin cell batteries on eBay and they are garbage. They are absolute utter garbage. This is the genuine Maxell one. So yeah, I just think it's beautiful build quality for a pocket meter. You could not, certainly couldn't ask for any better build quality than that. Fantastic. And when you whack it in the uh, case, it's just terrific. Anyway, let's have a play around with it. It's on. So, oh, is that, no, no, I think I relabeled the, uh, did the label okay? Anyway, um, let's have a look at the continuity tester. Uh, yep, the light's all right. So, actually, let's do a diode first. I've got a white lead here, Cree white lead. There you go, it lights up white LEDs, um, up to 3.2 volts, and this one happens to be uh, 2.5 or whatever uh, test current it's got there. So it lights up white LEDs, no worries whatsoever. Very, very nice. And if we go over to continuity test, it's not the loudest buzzer in the world, but it is excellent. Hopefully you can hear that. And just rest it on there of its own weight because they're nice gold-plated leads. Love it. So let's go back to ohms and boom, there's the auto range in straight down like that. And of course we can rail that up. We can rail that out like that. Fantastic. And that works on uh, most ranges. So we can go into the capacitance range for that. Sorry, I've lost my standard capacitor here. It's somewhere in the lab. Um, it doesn't go down to one uh, puff resolution, but for a pocket meter, meh, that's all right. So uh, I'm not going to zero that out, but I believe you can. There you go. I just zeroed that out. So there we go. We're now minus two. So the relative mode works on uh, basically any of the ranges there. Um, and min max and all that sort of stuff. I won't uh, demo all the min max, but let's, uh, well, let's go over to ohms. Let's uh, test a few things out, shall we? So we'll go to our standard here. This one's out of the box. So out of the box, there you go. 10, oh, 10.00, fantastic, bang on. Let's put it on uh, DC volts and hook it up to our source here. 1.000, bang on. So 100 millivolt range. It is uh, 6,000 uh, count, as I said. So it's pretty much uh, bang on on uh, all the ranges. I've tested a couple of these things. I've got a whole bunch of these in stock. So I could do like the uh, multimeter mass turbulence thing like I did with the BM235 uh, and get like 40 or 50 of them all in a row and uh, check the accuracy specs. But coming from Samwa, I'd expect that to be absolutely uh, bang on. So yeah, that is a really nice bit of kit. We can have a quick look at the manual. If you, I'll link it, it's down below, um, so we don't really have to go into the details of the manual. Here we go, PM300, is that the English one? Is there an English one? There is an English one here somewhere. Trust me, it's in there. Come on, come on, there we go, there we go. Yep, and specs, Ta -da -da -da. no, we're still not English. No. What's going on? Still not English. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably on the back of this one. You get a couple of them in here. Here we go. But I will link it in down below. There you go. Measurement ranges and accessories. There you go. AC volts are, you know, your typical 1.2, true RMS. Um, it's not high frequency uh, range, so don't get uh, terribly excited. The frequency, of course, and 0.8% uh, uh, plus three digits. Um, standard accuracy, as I said, and the resistance fairly typical for uh, pocket multimeters. You know, if you want the absolute accuracy, you're not buying a pocket meter. But uh, there you go. It goes up to uh, 600 mics. So once again, if you're after like huge capacitances, it's not the meter for you. But if you're after a very nice pocket multimeter in probably the best case, most rugged case I've ever seen to whack this in your pocket. And it really is, uh, it really is quite small. And I love this thing. And the reason that I stocked it is not only because I liked it, but I could not buy this thing. I could not buy this thing anywhere um, I wanted to get one for my pocket multimeter shootout and I couldn't 
can get one anywhere in the world. Apparently it is available in on some like store shelves in Japan or something like that. But I believe I'm like the only one, I mean, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, where you can get this outside of Japan. Anyway, it is a really nice bit of kit. I love it. So if you're after a super top quality, uh, top shelf pocket multimeter that you can just start, you know, throw in your uh, top pocket or throw in your luggage. If I'm like headed somewhere, I'd be nabbing this uh, sucker to uh, put in my, just throw in my bag. And you know that uh, you've got a decent meter available just for uh, um, field use and stuff like that. That's super safe, super reliable, super quality. I love it. So it's not by far the most, uh, the cheapest meter on the market. It's on par with some of your high end ones. I think I've got it it's Australian dollars on my website or something in 85 Australian, which is 68 US dollars currently or uh, something like that plus uh, postage. But if you're after a top shelf pocket multimeter, I think that is worth a look. Anyway, that is the Samwa PM300 pocket multimeter. If you want to check it out, links down below. If you don't, oh well, don't bother. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Catch you next time.